Your destination is on the left. All right, we're here. Let's see how this uh, thing looks. Oh, and here being power grid. All right, that's it done. That's the air tank finished, done, powder coated, and good to go. Now all we're doing is waiting on the install now. Um, I wanna give a shout out to Juan Ortega, uh, who is able to get my tank powder coated and powder coated well uh, for only 90 bucks. So uh, if you're in the DC DMV area and you're looking for someone to powder coat for you, make sure you look them up uh, because it is a phenomenal value and I'm sure those prices aren't gonna last long whenever the word gets out that this guy is actually really damn good. Um, so moving on from there, uh, let's talk about uh, the build. Now I said that uh, the build will most likely start uh, later at the end of this month or early next month, whenever the wheels get here. However, I could argue that the build actually started a little bit early. So uh, this is technically the first mod I'll have in the car. I mean, what could it be? So yeah, you know, uh, let's, let's give it a peek. Oh, and we also have this. Yeah, so two packages. So I kind of already opened this one, so I'm somewhat snaking you guys. We've got veil side shift patterns. All right, so I know what you guys are thinking. Why do I have three different shift patterns? Why are there two five speeds and one six speed? All in good time, my friends all in good time, but I think you guys now know what's gonna be in the second box. All right, so what we have here are three shift knobs. Uh, so these are shift knobs for top secret. Now, if you guys are familiar with veil side shift knobs, you know they don't make them anymore. However, the company that used to make the shift knobs for rail sides sells the exact same knob for top secret. So by getting the top secret knob body and supplanting the uh, veil side shift pattern, I was able to get potentially three different veil side shift knobs. Uh, now, the reason why I got at least two of them is because I didn't know whether or not I want to put the black shift knob in there or the silver shift knob. I feel like the silver shift knob looks a bit more classic, um, but I kind of have like a black theme going on here. When the car is finished, there's going to be a ton of black, so I thought maybe I would continue that theme. So, that's why I made sure I got at least two uh, shift patterns for a five speed because my car is five speed uh, and then uh, I have one uh, For six speed and I'm sure you guys could understand take your guess Why do you think that I got a six speed shift knob? All right, and then the one knob that I'm not gonna keep I'm gonna end up putting on eBay uh, as a veil side shift knob But I'm gonna make sure to let them know that while the, sh the sh uh, shift pattern is gonna be authentic uh, the knobs, even though they're made by the same company and they're the exact same as the veil side shift knob, is not going to be vintage. Okay, so don't want to mislead uh, anyone there. So yeah, let's uh, let's uh, see how this looks in the spider. You know, I am not in love with it. Um, I don't quite like this shift beat thing here. It just doesn't quite look like it works. Um, 
that part doesn't really come off. So I feel like I need a new shift boot to go with to go with this. But as far as you know, looking at it, the contrast here is just kind of off-putting. I mean, it definitely looks good, but yeah, I don't know. 